morning, beginning of day 23. Uh, still on San Jacinto. Um, it's been windy all night, but, um, and I was camped kind of on a hill a little bit. So I kind of was sliding off my mattress all night, but I did sleep pretty good till like 4.30. Um, so I got a long day today. I'm gonna try to get 15 in. Um, there's a lot of, lot of elevation though, so we'll see. Uh, I'm just gonna do the best I can. Hopefully I have more energy today. Um, so it's like the sun's out, it's just coming up. It's about 7.15 in the morning and I just got, just got packed up and ready to head out. This is my view this morning. I just walked back a few feet. The sun's just starting to poke through the trees. It's gorgeous out. All right, here I am heading up this way. We get some more views out here. This is where I camped last night, right back in this little corner. Kind of sloped downwards a little bit, but very windy up here. Here's the view. I walked about 15 feet, then the view the other way. Beautiful lake down there. I just can't stop taking pictures. It's so beautiful. So much climbing, but uh, it's the only way you get these kind of views. So it's worth it. All right, I'm just about the top of this. I'm at 7,000 feet. It just kind of goes up and down a little bit. But I'll be dropping down, back down to almost 6,000 feet uh, until it meets uh, Phobes Ranch Trail. And then you climb back up to 7,000 feet again. And then it kind of drops down a little bit and then it goes back up again. So yeah, I'll have some downhill for a while, but then uh, up to Apache. Hey, you can see. Uh, Palm Springs down there. I don't know if all you can see it's kind of hazy, but um, and if you go over here, back in the distance is the uh, Salton Sea. Kind of where those two mountains meet there, behind it there, that's the Salton Sea. So, yeah, beautiful. I start seeing the, the next ridge of mountains, which I don't know if that's. Uh, San Gorgonio, Mount, Gorgonio Mountains, or if it's the one behind it, but, yep, and there is San Jacinto, you can see behind this hill here, that's what I'll be going over. All right, I've done about three miles, and, um, yeah, I'm still up on top of this ridge, I got one more little incline, I think, and then it goes downhill, I keep thinking I'm done, and this is a little bit more. But, you know, there's like three miles of downhill, and then you start climbing up to um, Apache Peak, which is like another, so you drop down a thousand feet, and then you go up 1,200 feet, and then it goes down a little bit, and then you climb another, I don't know, looks like 500 feet. <clears throat> so... Still debating on what to do for water. I don't want to go to Apache Spring, but I'm probably going to have to. And we'll see when I get there. I haven't drank a lot of water this morning, and I'm pretty well hydrated. So, I guess it depends on how much water it takes me to get there. 
I don't want to carry a bunch of water either on the, on the uphills. This is too hard on my body. That was part of the problem with yesterday once I filled up. At the spring, my pack just felt ridiculously heavy. Um, what? I didn't have that much more water than I started with. So, but it felt just an extra five pounds of water made a big difference. So, yeah, it's definitely lighter today. I have like uh, one and a half liters. Yep. All right. Just going to finish eating. Uh, I hadn't had breakfast yet. I just had coffee this morning. So I'm eating a Cliff Bar and some packets of peanut butter and and then I'll probably eat lunch maybe when I get to Phobes Ranch before I climb up Apache. It depends on what time I get there. Okay, I've reached the type, top of this climb for real this time. And there's a beautiful lake down here. I don't know what lake it is. But yeah, getting ready to start going downhill. Kind of hazy out there on the other side of these this mountain. Yeah. All right. All right. Just took a break here at Phobes Trailhead. Um, and it goes down this way into the valley. And I am going up towards Apache Spring. So this is the climb. Yeah. Three miles up. I think it's 1,200 feet for this climb. too but it just seems to be staying right where it's at I guess you have to be patient rocks I kept rattling every time I threw a rock and then finally it's it stopped but I didn't see it leave so then I had to throw rocks all over different parts of the bush to make sure it wasn't in there and when it didn't rattle anywhere I hit right across I think it was a baby rattlesnake and yeah just the sound of the rattle uh, sound like it wasn't very big but yeah that was scary it's my trail right now it's pretty rough. Lots of breaks. I just keep stopping to catch my breath. Whew. All right, I'm just about up to the Spitler Creek Trailhead. I think I got like three tenths of a mile or five tenths. Amazing view up here. I'm in this burn area. And uh, whew. the climb is no joke. And it is just using every leg muscle I have. My feet feel pretty good today, but my legs are burning. Yeah. From my calves all the way to my glutes. They're like, burn, burn, burn. <laughs> so, anyway. Wow. And then when I get to the top of Apache there, I get to go down and get water. So, it's like an extra mile and a half round trip. I stopped at uh, Spitler Peak Trail. I'm gonna turn off here. It's a PCT alternative. Uh, beautiful down here. It's a nice house. This is a beautiful lake. 
even if you go around on this side, you got a beautiful, beautiful view over here too. Anyway, I uh, had to eat something. Get me up this next hill. I've got like a half mile until uh, I get to Apache Spring turn off, and then I'm gonna have to like put my pack down and hike down with my water bottles and my filter and go get water. All right, so this is the trail down to Apache Spring, and it's about six tenths of a mile, I think. Yeah, and then you gotta carry your water bottles back up. And there's Palm Springs down there. Yeah. See the Sultan Sea way out there? It's kind of hard to see. It's kinda... I don't know if it's a mess down there, some kind of fog cover or something. walk to. Just grabbed three liters of water and a little bit of my Seenock bag to drink on the way back up. There's Palm Springs down there. Now I get to hike straight back up to the trailhead. A little more than half a mile. My current view. This is a trail. I'll be climbing all stuff. Yep. It's beautiful. Legs got just a tad bit dirty today. Yep. Toys are still doing pretty good. They're dirty. Filthy. Um, not sure why I got so dirty today, but... Okay, I made... I was starving tonight. So, I made uh, mashed potatoes with brown gravy. Turned out pretty good. It's a little bit lumpy because I had the mixed gravy mixed with hot water in a Ziploc bag and the mashed potatoes in another bag, but it turned out pretty good. Yeah. And I was so hungry, I actually made my dinner before my coffee tonight. Uh, 